tonight on Big Brother. Truth. But if I was 21 again, I would love to be you. Lies. Oh! Absolutely false. And the pursuit of happiness. I'm saying to you all now that me and Brie will get together when we get out of here. Hey! <laughs> Trevor's snoring has been a point of discussion in the house and resulted in him receiving two points from Paul at this week's nominations. In the early hours of the morning, it reaches a crescendo. Trev, roll over. It's a nice day. Hi. It's a nice day. Are we early, Paul? No, no. no. It's up there. Oh, did you hear Trevor last night? No, you know what I did hear? You. You woke me up. What did you say? Oh, what are you meant to do? <laughs> Tried to throw pillows at him. I was screaming at him. He just won't roll over. But it I was... didn't hear him snore. I heard oh. you. You were you went off. I'm sick of it. <laughs> He's just snoring, mate. <laughs> Me and Fry's, he can't sleep. Because he always beats us to sleep. Oh, so you took a while to sleep yeah. and then he starts snoring. Yeah. Here he comes. Did you hear last night's? This night, last night's what? Yell. <laughs> Yell. <laughs> didn't hear it. Who hey, knew what? Trev! Roll over! No, I didn't hear nothing. I was out last night. Oh, <laughs> towel. <laughs> <laughs> didn't hear it? No. Nah. I yelled at the top of your voice, mate. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm shocked now. I think it's because I'm getting close to getting home. What, you just kicked up your snoring? Yeah. And there was pillows on the floor for eyes, you'd had another crack on it. Yeah, there's heaps of pillows on the floor. <laughs> I think oh. I got one for Brie. Still taking me ages to get this load. Mm, it took me ages last night, man. Mm. Trev. I know. Did you see me throw pillows at him last did night? Did you? Yeah, and he did this. I threw the pillow at him and it hit him here and he, and he stopped and went, I just got comfortable with it. They're in the bathroom, are they? Yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How did you sleep? You alright? <laughs> oh, did I snore? Oh, mate, you were the worst. <laughs> the worst did, did you ever been last night. Yeah. Were you candy? sleeping on your side? I don't know. I think I, was, I usually it's, it works when I sleep on my back when I start snoring. And d because it was just not working. Like <laughs> we were throwing stuff at you, and you two three minutes later you'd be back snoring again. I threw two pillows at you, big buff head. Yeah, there you go. After you my, grabbed them and got comfortable. After my young sandy. Yeah. <laughs> I had the best sleep ever last night. I'm no. glad. <laughs> really glad for you, Chad. <laughs> Last night you were going loud. really loud. Yeah, mm. I get it from my mum. Like deep. <laughs> That's not your fault, but it's no, That's my mum's. It's your mum's fault? Yeah, you should hear her snow. She'll knock down walls. Yeah. Are we having veggies or just lasagna? I don't know. Do you want to make some veggies too? They don't want to eat I don't know. Yeah, we'll just have lasagna then, Just yeah. have lasagna, yeah. Have you just showered? No, I just put cream on. Do you use that cream at home too? Yeah. Here we go. I'm a moisturiser boy. It's good. It hasn't done me any harm. 
Most boys use it, just not in public. With everyone else in the kitchen, Trevor and Ryan discuss a favourite topic, celebrity infatuations. Hypothetical. Where would you go if Jennifer Love Hewitt came knocking on your door and you had to take her out during the night? All right, what would I do with Jennifer Love Hewitt? I'd take her to the best restaurant in Adelaide, um, a bloody really expensive hotel, uh, Adelaide. Uh, hotel? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that's a, that's a bit oh, of a <laughs> Hey, Jennifer, get in the car, we we'll go to a hotel. <laughs> if you only had a hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. OK. If yeah. I only had a hundred bucks, I'd take it to Cartmania. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what would I do? I would take her down the bay, go for a walk along Jetty Road and just yell out, Hey! Hey, look what I've got! <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd... Go for a bit of a stroll down the beach. Yeah. For a bit of a chat. <sighs> and then um, I'd finish off with coffee at Gloria Jeans down on Jetty Road at the bay there. Yep. Who's he talking to? I told him if he had 100 bucks, I asked him a hypothetical question. Where would he take Jennifer Love Hewitt if he had 100 bucks? Hunch? Yeah, just 100. Take her for coffee, and then after that, I'd just I'd be a real gentleman. So look, I just had a really good time tonight. I reckon you're a top bird and uh, wouldn't mind doing it again. Leave the ball in her court. How much money you got left? Quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> this Order. is Big Brother. Hi. <laughs> Housemates, for this week's task, Housemates had to try and guess their combined weight. Oh. Housemates estimated mm. they weighed 382 kilos. Kilos oh. of mushrooms. To pass this week's task, housemates had to be within 10 kilos of their actual combined weight. <laughs> housemates, you are only 700 grams out. Your actual combined weight is 381.3 kilos. Oh, that is Congratulations, amazing. housemates. You have passed this week's task. You, you may open the letter. You know what? This is our weight. I'll read them out. You have it? No, no, no. I don't want me to read it. Oh, no, don't read it out because I don't want to see it. Oh, he hasn't said. told me I can read it out yet. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you may. Don't, can you just put you it on the table because I don't want to read it out if, I don't, if I'm not happy oh. with it. I don't want it to be said out loud. Oh, great. No, I'm serious. We're only just 700 grams out. So doesn't you're matter. I could have been 65. You could have could been, been yeah. five okay. kilos lighter. Let's see who was the closest. One of us is close. We probably all are. Is it? Yeah, results. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, it was me. Oh, oh look, look at this. First look at this. Oh, that's what I am. Oh, smack on. What am I? <laughs> have I only put on 65? <sighs> Told you. I've lost weight. I've lost weight. I've lost weight. This big brother, Paul, can you please read the results? OK. Rude, man. has mine. I'll put on a kilo in a bit. Results of our estimated and actual weight are Trevor. All right, first estimate was 95 kilograms, and your actual weight is 96.3. You still got four. Yay! Thank you. Ryan's first estimate was 93, and his actual weight is 92.7. Oh, yeah. So you're the closest, mate, I think. Point three. Yeah. Paul's was 70.5 kilograms, and the actual weight was 68.2. You've still put on you're three kilos. kilos. Yeah. Catherine's was, first estimate was 61, and her actual weight is 60.65. Yay! That's amazing! Breeze, her first estimate was 63 kilograms, and her actual weight is 63.45 kilograms. Oh, go. that's sweet. Easy I put on two kilos. Nothing. Big Brother has given Catherine a letter outlining a mini task for tonight's family dinner. This week's family dinner is to once again take on a slightly different format. 
It's been nearly three months since housemates have read a newspaper or seen or heard a news report. Much has happened in those three months. Is he going to tell us? In the large white envelope oh. are headlines. Some of them are true, some of them are false. Oh, wow. Hot it, damn! Housemates are then to openly discuss whether or not they think the headline is true. Oh, this is great. So some are fake. Yeah. Put it in. <laughs> Passion and power. Peter Garrett joins ALP. Get safe seat for looming election. Oh! Absolutely false. False. One hundred percent. Yep. All right. He 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 prefer he does prefer Latham. I've heard him actually talk about Latham, and he agrees with some of the things he's done. But I think it. would Imagine if that comes that, out that as if true. Someone. If he joined yeah, Labor, yeah. it would be oh, massive on, news. You're Labor, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. 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 Alright, false. Nah, we'll take that your would, word for it. He really hates make the government. Triple H. Ah, oh, soccer! Underdog Greece wins Euro 2004. Soccer giants humiliated. No, Frozen. false. Greece. Greece! There's no way Greece would be up there. No, nothing. No what do you reckon, Trev? Not Greece. No. No false. way. Nah. Mm. Nah. That's false. Okay, we'll false. false. I don't know anything about it, so I'll back Trev. It says that he'll tell later. Which Board one. of the Rings. Athens Olympic fast continues as games delayed. Easy. Oh! Joking. Well, they were so far behind. Yeah, they, were. they weren't on time. You couldn't put them on hold, could you? Why not? Because it's never been done in the history. Yeah, it has once apparently. Where's the sign? Yeah. It is a fast over there. I'll go for nah, two. I, I reckon they wouldn't be able to call that it's being delayed until the last minute. I reckon, I reckon false. Yeah. False it is. That was good fun. Oh, do you reckon we're going to find out that what's true and false? Nah. Probably not, hey. Nah. The housemates received no information from the outside world. They've guessed 10 out of 20 headlines correctly, passing the task. They'll find out the true headlines when they leave the house. Can I just say, do you know what it is with Bree? You know, and I'm exactly the same, and I'm 27. Thanks for We and, get, and, and it's the, it is exactly the same topic as it is the me. weight, no, the weight issue. I, I say I'm 27, I haven't a fan of girl, the longest relationship I've had, and I love it when people say, Frizy, you'll find someone easy in the next few years. After dinner talk turns to relationships. Hello, Frizy. What about me? I'm 34 next But you've been week. married for 17 years, babe. I've been married Frizy, for 11, I was your age. 12 yeah. years. You've been together with I'm someone for 17 years. years. No, I was your age. I'm at your Look stage at me, I'm now at 34. Yeah. Yeah, me and Frizy are the tragic one. love tales of this bloody show. Well, then what about me? <laughs> You've got kids. I'm going to have to get bloody IVF. IVF. You're 22. Or I'm going to have to ring Frizy and go, oh, you donated some sperm. Do you want some kids? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Frizy, I'm having a nap right now. Frizy, do you want to get some kids? I'll be really tall. Yeah, but, oh. but you're single. <laughs> they would be too, wouldn't they? And good looking. <laughs> and they'd be bendy. Single, but they'd have those injuries. No Blonde or brunette? Mm. I am Blonde. single with kids. Brunette. Oh, it's in between. Be mm. Do you reckon their kids would be more funny than, than stubborn? Or me and Paulie just haven't um, I think they'd be definitely entertainers. <laughs> I reckon they would, <laughs> would dancer entertainers or like... Um, funny entertainers. Entertainers. Sketch. Let's just yeah. say. Sketch that, comedy entertainers. Mm. Let's just hey. say that they'd make a lot of money. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, because they'd be very tall. Oh, the money is gone. Let's pick off no, Fuzzy and Regan. No, I'm not. Bree, let them believe. Talk. I reckon it's funny. Let Paul believe what he wants. Oh. Okay. oh. Because Paul has been the one that's always talking. Oh, up. yeah. Oh. He's always been the one. And when you do, get, get, off, yeah, get off your chest, mate. Oh, I'm saying to you all now that me and Brie will get together when we get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
Hold she, on, you go. Lay, she's listening. I don't listen wipe to me. Wipe for me. Wipe for me. Crack, 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 crack. Where's Trent? Where's Trent? There he is. The big hairy thing. Oh. <laughs> My mum always said, if you're hungry, eat. How do you know I'm hungry? Because you want one. I don't want one. You do. Because yeah, no, you're you looking do. at me and you're not looking at the food. Have one. There you go. That'll get her, because I know it does, because I use that. <laughs> what? You know everything that go gets house, me. Go house, go house. How do you know what gets me? You've only been living with me for three, three months. Three months I've been living with you, girlfriend. Have half and I'll have the other half. Brazzy, oh, no. grab her a plate. I'm not hungry. No, I can't believe I'm here. Facing possible eviction on Sunday, Catherine has an emotional moment. Mm. I still can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm here either. Can I say something to yeah, you guys? Yeah, okay. yeah it's still got a long way Speak. to go, Cap. I'm so honoured to be here with you guys. Oh. We're honoured to have you, Cap. Mm. And like if this is my part. last week, I'm oh. so honoured to be here. <laughs> I don't like that especially when girls do it. Brain. So fucking. stark. Come on, come on. I'm not doing one, mate. She did it. Come and sit here. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, come and sit here. Come and sit here next to Mummy. No. You know what? You know you say your gift was football, but I think your greatest gift is making people laugh. And I think that is the greatest gift you could be born with, is to make people laugh. Mm. And I think you're so special. I really do. Look, I think you're amazing because you've mm. given me the... You give, you've given me the gift of um, setting the standard of what I want in a mm. relationship out of a man. Mm. OK? That's what I've learned from you. That's what I've learned from you. Then I want respect from a man. You'll get it. I will. You deserve it. And Trev, well, you're just Trev. <laughs> you're just a gentleman. It means yeah. more. But do you know what? Yes. I think you're just such a gentleman oh, yourself. Oh, go on. Can okay. you talk anymore? <laughs> go. If I go... If I go on Saturday... Yes. If I go on Saturday... Yes. I can't believe I was so scared and intimidated by you. Oh, stop. Hey, hey, the gentlemen. second and third. Week, on the second and third week of being in this show, I was so scared of you. All right, remember this. Paul is a pussy cat. You're so full of Paul is a pussy cat. <laughs> you are, you are such a pussy cat. Oh, I am. He's a such a cat. little gentleman. Around girls, he's a pussy cat. Can I tell you, I'm so honoured that I've been here so long to get to know the real Paulie. Yes. <laughs> Breezer, I want you to know. I want you to know. I want you to know one thing. Oh. Don't cry. I'm 34 next week, next four, Thursday. Four, 34. That if I was 21 again, I would love to be you. Because you're so wise. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right, Kat. Keep going. This is good. You're so quick-witted. Stop, stop stirring. I'm not. I'm getting in. Go away. Oh, away. Get involved. Oh, man. This is Paul. I think you're an amazing woman. I really woman. do. Ooh, woman. I think woman you're wise. <laughs> I would love to be you at 21 because you know where you want to go. I just think you're amazing. And I think if you're here to the end, good luck to you. You're amazing. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> If she had tears, she'd be crying. No, right, no. <laughs> Have I got two? Yeah. Do him and Fry's here. Oh, creep. I think you're no, amazing. She's done, mate. Has she done you? I've sit, sat on that couch and I've had so many mature yeah, conversations I do that. with you. That's the one thing, like, um, with, with my dad, the whole thing that I've... Um, really cherished, yeah. like we had a handshake and a cuddle, yeah. like I gave him a hug and stuff, and that's yeah. the one thing I really cherished. Yeah. He left and he took that uh, that away from me yeah. and took that away from my little brother because I saw him do that yeah. and had the relationship with my little sister. My yeah. other older sister left yeah. and that's why I hate him so much. I hate that so much. And then I look at you guys and, oh, you love your kids so much and oh, yeah. it's, it's great. I love that.
So what have you learned from me and Polly? I'm learning from, from the love and the attitude. Okay. Like you can be strong, you can give your, your opinion from like Pauly said and yours. Yeah. And you can believe in if if you believe in what you think and just go for it. Yeah. Oh uh, and always, happen. always put your family in front of anything else. Exactly. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Go on, Unbelievable. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Chop, chop. We'll drop him. Good. Ah! Trev, you're not finishing that? Yeah, we'll all come back. Cool. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow on Big Brother, the morning after. What do we have to do Did to get some KFC? Would you kiss Fryzy again? Would you kiss Fryzy For KFC? Probably. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.